Jimmy Porter here. Um, did you do you pay attention to the Floyd Mayweather Conor McGregor talk, or even the Soldier Boy Chris Brown? I want to get your thoughts. Are you do you think that's good for well, boxing? Paying attention to it and just seeing it, I don't know if that's yeah. exactly the same thing. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, you know, I can tell you as much as what I've seen, which is you know, uh, Conor's you know. People are Dana White is, you know, tossing money numbers around, and Floyd is pretty much laughing that off, <laughs> um, you know. Uh, and as far as the Soldier Boy and the Jumping Chris Brown thing, uh, you know, I get Sean's thoughts. I think that's more like I think that's more like the celebrity. Death match they used to have on MTV. Is I think that's. I think, yeah, it's it's fun. I'm you know going. what I mean? Uh, going, nobody, going. Who you nobody, nobody's going ten rounds or twelve. Not, nobody will be in shape or anything like that. I want to. I want to see some some bit of like a small little camp or somebody training before I pick, make a pick. Really? I do. I want to see how pretty big. Yeah, yeah. What about yeah, I'm gonna just training? go ahead and go with CB from the start. Mike Tyson. I seen him at a fight. Yeah. And uh, he squared up with a couple of Mexicans in the crowd. I'm like, oh, okay, this guy's for real. <laughs> <laughs> but Mike Tyson training Chris Brown, Floyd Mayweather got Soldier Boy. What are the trainer tactics? How could that change the dynamic of the fight? I think I heard uh, somebody say Mike Tyson told Chris Brown he's gonna train him to, to knock out Soldier Boy. So yeah. uh, that's that's it. He coming in for the knockout. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm definitely going with Chris Brown. Got you. you know, it seems though UFC has these big. Pay Pay per view events, they're getting millions of pay per view buys. Boxing, you know, it always has a following, a great following, but the pay per view model has been up and down over the years. I mean, do you think, what are your just thoughts on how boxing can keep pace and get back into making these crazy events that everybody want to see? Yeah. I don't know. I, I still feel like it's coming. I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm around, and some other uh, good fighters are around. And some guys are coming up right now, and that that the, whatever little trend you see is gonna start to kind of just kind of you know make an incline and, and stay on the incline. I, that's just how I feel about it. But of, of course, I'm biased, and and I, I'm in the sport. I know who's around. I know who's doing what. So I can I can tell you that the uh, the talent we got coming is gonna is what's gonna keep the uh, the boxing scene on, on the incline. So, no, at your fights though, we're not gonna see no Drake fighting on the undercard, nothing like that. No mixing entertainment. Nah, nah. Webby on there, you know. <laughs> That's crazy. Good stuff, guys. Thank you know, I think uh, I think that that first Sean Porter Keith Thurman fight, yeah, that was a pay per view worthy fight. And if you put that type of fight together again, and you put let's say uh, you know an Errol Spence versus uh, whoever he you know a top chooses to fight for, for his title uh, on a pay per view card, yeah, you sell. You get some buys. You gotta have the right card. Speaking of Earl Spence, yes. even, you guys fight Kell Brook. Earl Spence, Kell Brook. Can Earl Spence beat him? Yes. Why? So too, Why do you say so? I think, I think the skill, the, um, the hunger, uh, the talent, I think he's got everything that it takes.